Now, whatever the Fed's been doing has, has been working, but they themselves say that they still don't have it under control, that they'll keep a, a close eye on things. What are your views on, on how the Fed is attacking inflation? Do they have it under control? No, I, Powell told us that he doesn't have it under control. And let's ask the question, why? The reason why I, I said in 2022 beginning of 2022, when Powell was first reconfirmed, I said, when he starts raising interest rates, he won't be raising interest rates to tame inflation. It'll be the reason he says he's taming inflation. But the reality is, is that interest rates are a demand side tool. They're designed to slow the growth of credit during a demand boom, right? The big demand for money that comes in, in that, that you get from, you know, an expanding economy and expanding demand for money. And it's a demand side tool. That's what the Fed was designed as around. Why? It's a Keynesian institution and Keynesian economics only cares about the demand side of the equation and believes fundamentally that supply will take care of itself and will adjust accordingly, which is a lie. It's always been a lie. I'm an Austrian. I never believed that. I always believed that, you know, investment profiles are, are based on a pool of real savings, which gets deployed into the real world. Coming out of COVID, we had a cost push commodity cost push inflation problem. We had too much money chasing too few goods being produced. And that was a massive spike. And then I want you to think about this as if it's like, you know, a, a ripple in a pond and the, every every ripple gets smaller and smaller and smaller, right? From the epicenter of when the, the stone's thrown into the pond. We went through the first, we we're past the first ripple and we're now getting towards the second ripple. And, you know, every time the amplitude of that ripple drops by, you know, 30% or some some number, probably Fibonacci series of like 38% or whatever. We're getting a second round of cost push inflation. That's why oil prices are rising. That's why natural gas prices are starting to rise. We're seeing, you know, we're seeing the breakdown of the infrastructure of society itself where you can't get repair uh, replacement parts to repair combines that are down or, you know, grain silos blowing up. And I don't know why these things are happening. They could be nefarious. They could just be a, a matter of, you know, local incompetence because they can't, because nobody can get any anybody to, to, to come to work who's competent and follow the procedures for properly storing grain. Like, and these are things that we've taken for granted as, a, as societies now for you know, close to 100 years, right? And it's happening at all across the supply chains. And so this is going to take two or three or four iterations to burn itself out while the infrastructure of the economy works itself out and, 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 and reorients itself. And then we have people who are actively trying to interrupt that healing process. By saying, no, we need to stay at the zero bound. No, we need to fight climate change and spend hundreds of trillions of dollars. The people who are saying this are all the people who don't produce any oil and coal or gas, i.e. the Europeans. And so, yeah, no, this is a commodity cost push inflation problem that the Fed is not fighting with raising interest rates. The Fed is trying to collapse the offshore dollar credit system because it knows that the world is trying to de-dollarize. And it has to de-dollarize because the amount of dollars that are flowing around overseas dwarf their ability to properly price dollars. The offshore dollar markets are an order of magnitude bigger than the domestic dollar markets. And so the Fed's trying to get that those numbers back in line so they can actually have control over its own monetary policy and the, and the price of its own product, which is the US dollar. And it only makes perfect sense when you start to think about the Fed's incentives that way. And so, yes, that's what I think is happening. Hi, I'm Tom Luongo, and you're watching Think Smart Education.